Hey YouTube, it's TechSpark on Bad, and today I'm going to show you guys how to import your Photoshop design layouts into Dreamweaver and actually make it editable so you can type whatever you want, make all the pages of your website, and then get it up on the web. Okay, so before I actually start the tutorial, a couple things I need to talk about. Well, the first thing, you guys want to watch two videos before you watch this one. Um, how to make your own website with Photoshop part 1 and part 2. Now, that will get you caught up with everything that I've done so far. And this video is going to take off where part 2 of that video of how to make your own website with Photoshop ended. So, yeah. And another thing, also if you don't get this, these tutorials or you're just too lazy to make your own website or you just don't have the tools to make your own website, I have a great um, a section of my website where you could get pre-made website templates made by me. All you gotta do is go to textporkonbad.com, click on the link section of my website, then click on pre-made website templates, and then a thing will pop up reading you the terms and condi conditions, and once you agree, press OK. Next, you want to just read this top part and then read read the fact for it. And uh, every the fact should help you out with any of these templates, and it should teach you. It, it will teach you how to actually use the templates, download them, and everything that you need to know. And also, uh, the fact is really important too because if you want to make your own website template, and if you're having or you want to make your own website using my tutorials, and if you're having any trouble with the website at all. If you read the fact, it could also help you out with any trouble you're having with your own website. Alright, so saying that, another thing that I need to talk about, well, actually, let's get started on the tutorial. But before we get started, I want to just mention that I always like to have a couple things open while doing this. First off, I like to have Photoshop open, just in case I need to change anything in my template. I could just go ahead and change it, press save as, and then save for web and devices again. And I, so yeah, I like to have Photoshop open. I like to have Dreamweaver open, obviously, because that's what we're going to be doing all the work in today. I like to have the web, oh, the website folder open. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically the folder that you put everything that has to do with your website in there. So all the images, website, um, all your the layouts, the pages, the uh, videos, everything like like that goes in your website folder. I like to have Notepad open, and you'll see why later. I just ha like to have Notepad open just to because you need to write down some stuff to remember it. I like to have um, your my default web browser open just in case I need any information, I need to Google anything, or anything like that. All right, so let's get started on the actual tutorial. Okay, so that the part two of how to make your own website with Photoshop, and uh, left off with this with you guys pressing file and clicking save as then clicking your website um, template and then clicking file and clicking save for web and devices and actually saving your website template for uh, as an HTML file so now we're gonna open that HTML file up in Dreamweaver so click open go to your website folder and just open that HTML file by the way, I like to name that HTML file main, M-A-I-N, and um, I'll show you guys why at the end of this tutorial. I don't like to name it index, but that's because I'm going to use it as a template and as a base. So I could just make all the other pages off of that, off of the main um, HTML file. I'll explain that for, uh, further later on. Alright, so I'm going to change the magnification to 50%, and you want to just select, if you select the corner of it it should select all the whole um the whole thing so it should select the whole layout if you could get the corner of it and if not all you have to do is select like one of the images and just change right here and, until it says less than sign table pound table space zero one greater than sign so you just got to press on one of the images if you can't get the corner and just right here somewhere around here then you should see that either you could just click on body or what I just said either one of it will work alright so next you wanna it's gonna you're gonna see something right here and if you don't that's probably cuz it looks like this if it looks like this you wanna click on this arrow and bring this space up so you're gonna see something right here that says align now you wanna change that align to center so it could center your um, website layout so you wanna press, cr press control s to save it and I'm just going to preview it to show you guys that it is in fact centered. 
so preview in Firefox, or you could just press F12, and as you can see, it is centered. Okay, so a couple of things, a, a couple of other things you could do before we actually get to making it editable. For uh, you could change the title up here. The title right now should be main or whatever you saved it as, but I'm going to change the title to text pork combat. Now, what the title is is let me just show you real quick. If you open up a new tab. You can see that the title, for example, if you open up my website, the title right here says Tech Support Gone Bad. So that's what the title is. So whatever you put in that little area, it's going to come up right here. So type in the title right here, then hold Control S to save it, or go to File and just click Save. Also, another thing that you could do is add a favicon. Now, if you don't know what a favicon is, is when you open a new um, link uh, or a new page, it shows you this little icon right next to the title. Now that little icon is called a favicon. Now I'm not going to show you guys how to make a favicon in this tutorial because I, I've already made another tutorial on how to make a favicon. So the link to that tutorial, along with the uh, the first two, two the first two tutorials I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, will be in the video description. So you guys could just click on the links and check those out. Alright, so once you have made all those um, adjustments and all, done all that, now you want to get it get to the part to making it editable. So what you want to do is select the whole template again or the whole layout, and then click. Uh, make sure you have the layout tab selected right here at the top. You should see something that says layout. You want to select that, and then click on this little button that says Insert Div Tag. Now you want to make sure that the whole um, template is selected or the whole design is selected. So click on that little button that says insert div tag. Now you want the insert to be wrap around selection and you want the ID to be site underscore layout. Click on new CSS style it, and you want the selector to be pound site underscore layout. And you want to define in a new style sheet file. Press OK. And a thing will pop up telling you to save it you want to make sure that you are on your website folder then type the file name as site underscore layout and make sure you're saving as the type uh, style sheet files and it should say dot CSS in parentheses then press save and now an options panel will pop up now there's a couple things that you want to do first of all you want to set the background color so I'm going to set the background color as black and you want to set the box and then you want to click on box after after you have set the background color on the right hand side or the left hand side where it says category you want to choose box and put the width and the height to 100 percent now by default it's going to say pixels so make sure to select it and go down and choose the percent so you want the width and the height to be 100 percent then press ok now also now we set the background color to black so now I'm going to show you real quick why we did that. Uh, so you want to press OK. And then you want to actually press OK to insert the div tag. 